The 2021-2022 season is coming to a close and we're honoring some remarkable athletes. WCIA 3's Andy Olson has more on Mattoon's Mallory Ramage, our girls basketball player of the year. Mallory Ramage knew right away she could leave her mark on the Mattoon girls basketball program more so than just on the court. This is real and I'm getting really serious about it and I'm just really excited about it. The Mattoon point guard did exactly that, becoming the Green Wave's all-time leading scorer with more than 2,400 points. Even with a shortened COVID season, the four-year starter exceeded a nearly 30-year record by 700 points. I knew that I wanted it. I knew that I wanted to work hard, and it's definitely meant a lot. Um, it's taken a lot of hard work to get that. She can score from anywhere uh, on the floor, and um, you know, she can score with two, three people on her. Uh, you know, she finds a way to put the ball in the basket. Ramage's scoring prowess helped lead the Green Wave to two Apollo Conference and regional titles in her four years, including a run to the Sweet 16 in February. It set the program record for wins in a season with 30, and with that, bringing much-needed attention to girls' sports. I just really wanted to do that. I wanted to make girls' basketball just more popular here, and I wanted people to know that we're good and we can do just as good as any other team here. They look in the, in the stands in the crowd. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, younger players that look up to her and, you know, want to follow her in their footsteps and, um, you know, accomplish the things that she's accomplished. And so it really, you know, it, it builds the program. Now Ramage will look to do the same in the Windy City, having signed this past fall with Loyola. She'll have to impress a new staff with a coaching change, but is determined to keep the success going. My goals are just going there and working hard. I'm really excited to play at the next level, and I just know I'm going to work hard and do whatever it takes. She'll get to work with the Ramblers as WCIA3 Girls Basketball Player of the Year. In Mattoon, Andy Olson, WCIA3 Sports. And here's a look at some of our past players of the year. Last year was Danville's Aaron Hooked. Schlarman had two athletes three years in a row. We've had a player of the year from Mattoon before. Sierra Thompson won five years ago. And juniors Mia Takakawa and Mia Towns represented Illinois for the individual rounds of the NCAA Women's Gymnastics Championships. Mia Towns on the vault. She lands a score of 9.8375. She tied in 14th to finish her season. And Takakawa on the bars finished with the same score. She finished her season at 20th. Takakawa has had two perfect tens in her career as an Illini. And out of some Major League Baseball, Chicago White Sox face the Mariners. Top of the eighth, Jose Ruiz on the mound, and Mitch Hanniger gets a hold of that one and gets a two-run home run over the left field fence, 5-1 to one Mariners. He's going to celebrate there, but here we go. Anderson Severino on the mound now for the White Sox with the strikeout. No more added runs, but White Sox not able to come back in the last inning. They lose this one, 5-1. to one. Now heading over to Milwaukee, where the St. Louis Cardinals face the Brewers. And it's the bottom of the second. Adam Wainwright on the mound for the Cards. Omar Narvaez goes with it, and it's gone over the right field fence. 2-0 Brewers. They're not going to be able to get that one. He gets to get to... Words are hard here, Mac. He gets to celebrate again, but top of the eighth, Cardinals second baseman Tommy Edmond up to bat, and he gets a hold of this one also, and it's gone over the right center fence. That's his second this year. First one in STL from the right side. Now this one from the left, but Brewers will also win this one 5-1. to one. But staying in the majors tonight, Cubs and Rockies are still going. Uh, Cubs are winning 5-2, to two, and it is in the eighth.